Okay, the first step to make light in the house is to add this box so that everything is safe. My father is an electrician and he knows what to do to make it a safe thing to run this. Here is my Raspberry Pi. These are the wires to connect the relay card. And the relay card will sit in this box. Okay, this is the relay card in the box. And this is the um, low voltage and this is the high voltage part. The high voltage part has uh, the middle hole is for power supply. This is the high voltage ground and this is high voltage safety thing. And now I can plug in ground here, voltage um, there. I chose black for ground and red for uh, power supply. And all these colorful cables I'm using for yeah, the GPIO to control the whole thing. Okay, let's plug it in. Okay, as next step I added this plug into the main thing and now this cable is going there, and there, and there and into the box as power supply to all the lamps and you have a voltage of 230 uh, volts and 10 ampere. So this should be enough to power all the lamps in this floor. This is the assembled relay card with 10 pins to the Raspberry GPIO. And the blue one is the ground, the green one is safety and the brown one is power supply which goes directly into my relays. And what I have to do now is to, for each lamp, uh, plug in a, a brown cable here, green cable in one of these and blue cable in one of these. And then I have my Raspberry Pi controlled light. So finally I added all cables to the GPI opens which I wrote down here. So 8 GPI opens to control 8 relay cards. And I have a script that goes through all these eight relays and turns them on. And you see when it comes to one, this light yeah, shudders. Let's take a look at the script. It's uh, advanced mesh scripting. You have a variable that holds all numbers of the relay pins and then I will also add PIR sensors. And for each pin in the beginning, um, I export it right out to the direction and write a one so that the light is off. And when I pull it down to zero, it turns the light on, I sleep a second and turn it off and this with a four loop through all eight pins in an endless loop while true do. Now let's run it again. So I execute the script and I have yeah. one That's it for today. Next time we'll look, uh, take a look at the PIR sensors. And that's how it finally looks. Here are the cables from the Raspberry Pi. And this one is the power supply. And this one goes to the first lamp.